Tango Bravo, midfield on the downwind for 2-0. I'll put my car on. One, one, Tango Bravo, cleared option 2-0. Two, zero. Two, zero, one Tango Bravo. Get it out of the yellow. Yep, you go and turn. Right. It's like they were going for the south end of the field, so... Just a little bit. Come down a little bit with it. All right, enter when you're ready. All right. Go on. Three, two, one. Down, roll, off. All right, up with the collect a little bit. There, right about there. Just kind of leave that for that right now. Down a teeny bit with the nose. There you go. Leave your collector right where you got it. Looking good. Looking out the window. All right, start a little bit of a wimpy flare, and then flare into it, hold it, hold it, hold it, down with the nose, down with the nose, up with the collective. Right pedal. Got to be going the way you're going, pointing the way you're going. Yep. Had the wrong right there for a second. You got it. <laughs> All, right. All right, bring out a little bit of left pedal. Oops. Wanting to roll it down, fighting it. There we go. So again, at your entry is down, roll, back up. Okay. Down, roll, back up. Now, one Tango Bravo is on the uh, midfield, right now in 2 0. 2 1 Tango Bravo, cleared option 2 0. Here's the option 2 0, 1 Tango Bravo. Yeah, you go and turn there early. All right. Slow down just a little bit. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 44s don't like to slow down. <laughs> there we go. And wait just a little bit longer. All right, you get her when you're ready. All right, three, two, one. Down, roll, up with the clock a little bit. There you go, plenty, plenty, plenty. And then just kind of wait on it. So down a little with the nose, so we don't get too slow. RPMs are fine. There we go, looking good. Looking out the window. All right, flare. All right, a little high, but that's okay. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Yeah, all right. That one was a little messy. You have the aircraft. I have it. Looks good. Clear right, clear left. One tackle problems on the downwind for two zero. Clear for the option. Get that airspeed. The option two zero. One tackle problem. There we go. I'm sure he's looking to get you online. Yeah, he just went one, part one forty one too, I think. Which he going turn. <laughs> I know that's more students, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. And I know it's aviation. It could all change tomorrow, too. Yep. I'll take the 
one swap of a pin and suddenly the whole industry changes. Yeah. Well, the guy the one swap of the pin a lot of times didn't know <laughs> much uh, about uh, it either. Nope. All right, so let's leave our nose up a teeny bit, bleed off a little bit of speed. There you go. All right, enter when you're ready. Right. Three, two, one. Don't let your nose tuck, about like that. There you go, good. Down a little with the nose. About like that, just trying to preserve that speed. Yep. Not don't want to get much lower. Looking good, looking good. Looking good. All right. Looking good. Don't raise your nose anymore. Now I'll start your flare. There you go. Just kind of hold that right there. Hold it. Hold it right there. Hold it. Hold it. Hey, let you. Okay. So we let our throttle roll back up. That's why I wanted to. Oh, why I wanted to y'all up there. All right. <laughs> you have the aircraft? All right. I have it. I will pay more attention. I'll try to help keep it rolled down. Center my cyclic. <laughs> On the downwind two zero. And then you click the option two zero. Clear the option two zero, one take a problem. All right, you can go ahead and make your turn. on the collector a little bit. Try not to let the nose come down. Oh, there you go. Get a little right pedal in there. Nose down so it don't get any slower. All right, now start your flare. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now down with the nose, up with the collected. Not bad. A little bit of right pedal. See how more critical the timing is? So I think so. <laughs> when you set like it down, when you're trying to set it down and not slide, you know, you got to wait. You bring that down, and then it's more of an aggressive pull with the collective. When you're sliding them on, just setting it down, slide it on, it's hardly a wimpy pull at all, you know. Yeah. And you slide a lot farther, but anyway, yeah. since you got those down, we're doing our shorter slide ones here, okay. like you'd really want to do if you're touching down in the grass or the mud or whatever. Yeah. So for a small area. <laughs> yeah. But the timing is much more critical on these where you're trying to sit it down and only slide a very short distance, mm -hmm. if any, kind of. So the risks are a lot greater. And so you think people chop tail booms off much more often trying to just drop it in, you know. Yeah. And I can show you a whole bunch of those. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, unfortunately, some people seem to do it over and over again. Uh. Uh.
So when I teach somebody how to do full downs, you know, we've done a bunch where we did some in the past where we slid, you know, a lot longer, yeah. which is what you want to do. If you're going to a highway, you're going to a big old parking lot, you got room to slide and slide it on. Technically, it's much easier to get in there. Chances are you're not going to damage the aircraft, you know. Yeah. If you're going into the mud like here, you, you know, you want to flare the hell out of it, get the speed degraded as much as possible, and then get those skids level up on your collective, you know. Yeah. I want to talk about it on the downwind 2-0. And hey, good option, I'm take a problem. Like I said, the timing is more critical, and your chances of damaging the aircraft is much higher. Yeah. You know, dropping them in with hardly any slide. So, you know, take my word for it. If you look at uh, U.S. Army publication Fort Walters, where it talks about how to crash a helicopter, <laughs> it says the same thing. If you don't, you know, yeah. if you're going in an area where you have the slide, then slide. <laughs> Time is much less critical on that, but, but we're doing the harder ones today. So. <laughs> All right, just go yeah, straight for the hard just stuff. A little right? bit there. All right, so we got plenty of time now. Let's go ahead and enter when you're ready. Roll up a little on the collective. There you go. Now, you want the aircraft almost level, just about like that. Okay. See there, our speed stays nice and constant. Yep. All right, there at 68, 70. Yep. You can even lower it a little bit more. You have the aircraft. I have the aircraft. Down on the nose, you don't want to slow down. Looking good, just kind of hold it, hold that attitude. Now start your flare. Hold it right there. Now level the aircraft up on the collective. There you go, you did one, we didn't even slide. All right. <laughs> awesome. All right. But you see how more critical the timing is? Mm -hmm. You fuck that up and you look over there and your tail booms over here, so. Yeah. You know, so. You need to know how to do one, but you know, it's not yeah. something you want to go out and practice a whole shitload of them unless you got a whole row of helicopters you're gonna, <laughs> you know, so let's get the next one. Let's see how many we can uh, take care of today. Yep. So you remember, any time you come down with the collective on a helicopter, the nose is going to droop because of good old gyroscopic precession, you know. So, yeah. so when you enter your auto, what you're trying to do, you know, you're bringing your, because you have to hold a little bit of back pressure to keep that nose from just tucking way down and just where you're screaming out of the sky, you know. At the same time, you don't want to raise it too much because you'll end up too slow, and then you yeah. know, so it's just technically more difficult if you come in at 55 than it is if you're, you know, 65 or 70. Yeah. Take a problem on the now and two zero. I think we have two zero. Two zero. One take a problem. She's got a lot less kinetic energy and less, you know, less kinetic energy to work with. Makes it a little harder to actually sit it down with hardly any ground slide. You know. Yeah. Ironically. You know, <laughs> you got to keep that, got to keep your airspeed up, so that you've got the kinetic energy to, to turn into stopping power. Right. So you come in at 45 or 50, and it just ain't going to be pretty. Get a pancake. You're going to hit hard. And just going to be ugly. A little bit fast, but that's not too big of a deal. Just raise the nose a little bit, won't we'll bleed off a little speed before we enter here. There we go. I just kind of level off. Enter when you're ready. All right. Down, roll. Don't let your nose touch. Up on the collective. Now just let it settle for a minute, and you'll kind of calibrate out where you want to be. Down a little with the nose. See our airspeed? Then look for it. Yep. I'm going to get a good 65 to 70. Again, it just gives us more kinetic energy to turn into stopping power. Looking good. Keeping that nose down. Keeping the nose down. Little right pedal. All right, start your flare. Hold that right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Down with the nose, up with the collective. Not bad. Yeah. 
<laughs> Not too bad. We have the aircraft. So you can see if your timing was off about one second, you get to order some parts. Yeah. And they're not cheap ones either. 